Mason and Kurtley, you guys are two returners on this team. Do you feel any pressure being a returner or is there any at all? Well, for me, no, I don't. No pressure. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. pull up and, and play. That's it. I don't take too much pressure. I don't. I just come out here, put my cleats on, and get ready to go. So. Personally, no. I think I'm just thankful to be out here playing. And I think I learned in my early 20s pressure. I mean, there's people doing a lot more difficult things than playing baseball. So. This game is really hard to compete in. Minor league teams are getting cut. The Pioneer League is getting more competitive. How hard is it to prove you belong, or are you still figuring that out? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a little bit of both. Like, it is hard. It's getting way harder, um, but also that adds to the, the second part, like, okay, well, no matter how hard it gets, like, I'm ready to prove some people wrong, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit of both, and it kind of adds a chip to my shoulder. You know, I can't speak for Mason, but um, definitely, definitely hard and, and definitely ready to prove people wrong, so a little bit of both. I mean, it's all about the amount of pressure you put on yourself. Competition's going to keep getting better. I mean, as we get older, I assume it'll keep, but... Like I said, I try not to think about those things, and if I do, it's more motivation than anything. I was talking to Fletch, and he said, you guys are his two utility guys. You might get some reps at catcher, outfield, <laughs> first baseman. I even heard you in the mix for pitching this season. Rumors. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> but you guys have been utility guys throughout your whole career. How much confidence do you think that's given you in this game? Uh, a bunch. I mean, I can play at any position, which gives me, you know, freedom to helps me be in the lineup. Um, I enjoy playing everywhere on the field, and I think playing a lot of shortstop in college, and I played a little bit of outfield, but I've been at shortstop for a large part of my career, and I think branching out to different positions has has given me a different perspective on the game, and to realize that there's value everywhere. So you're not like doing great at the plate. You can go play right field, now you get at bats, you get confidence. All your questions are kind of building off each other, you know? The pressure and it all kind of ties in. Also, as a leader, I feel like that has to help you in the clubhouse as well. Well, for sure. I mean, some, some, a part of leadership is based on merit, right? And if you can, you can play every position and you're you know, competing and you're doing well, you know, it, gives you, it gives you room to kind of talk and lead a little bit, so for sure. You guys have two very different approaches on game day. Mason, <laughs> you're more of like the meditation, yeah. getting your mental right. Curly, I feel like you're very easygoing, free spirit. <laughs> yeah. Where is your guys' mindset on game day? I mean, I think you said it perfectly. <laughs> I roll out of bed. Once I'm up and it's game day, let's go. Like, okay. I get in the clubhouse. I don't, I'm not like superstitious. I just put my stuff on, stretch out, and I'm ready to go. Like, I, I would almost rather just not hit BP. Like, let's just play. Let's just play. Mason, the I, mental side is big for you. Yeah. Where, where are you? I have a routine that? for sure. I mean, he's a little bit more like get amped up. I'm a little bit more like. I gotta calm myself down so I'm not moving so fast out there. But he's slower than me, so that makes sense. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, I definitely have a routine, and you know, sometimes on the road that routine gets messed up. Here, that might get messed up. We got weather, we got something going on. I don't know. But I try to take a nap before the game. That's like my big thing, mm -hmm. um, especially the last couple of years. I guess it's a form of meditation. You, but. you guys are with almost a brand new team this mm -hmm. spring training. How has that been? What do you think the makeup of this team is going to look like this season? It's been really fun. I actually know a couple guys um, down from SoCal that, are, that came up. Noah Owen went to college with me. He's my roommate. Um, Chad Castillo, I played baseball with him a little bit. So it's been really fun. I think that we're going to be very good. Like we have a lot of talent, a lot of good players. So I'm really excited and really just like ready to go because I you know I know some guys so it's a little com comforting and yeah I don't I don't know I mean I guess time will tell but I think one thing I do notice in this clubhouse is experience compared to prior years or this league as a whole I think it's usually younger or that's what they say but I don't know I think that we look good on paper we look good for sure out here seems like people are working hard and it's been fun so far I mean we're only a couple days in but you two coming back this season, you have to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder how we ended last year in the playoffs. What do you think we have to prove this year? <laughs> I mean, I guess everything. I don't know. That was a nightmare, right? Like, you go into the last week and it's like, if you win, you're out. I don't know. Like, 
that's not how we operate. Yeah, that's right? not how we operate. So it was a, it was a, it was a debacle. And yeah, like let's go. Like we're 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 good enough. We were good enough last year, and then it, you know the whole thing just kind of went up in flames. So it's I'm definitely excited to like okay like we're the Range Riders and we're here to play. Like let's go. Curly especially, he plays with a lot of confidence. I mean, we're out here trying to win, whether it's practice, some little game in the infield versus an actual game. But I think just like winning the little things will kind of show up later on in the season when we're playing more important games. And yeah, I mean, last year it is what it is. I mean, that's the way the league's set up. So kind of got to take your medicine and realize we're here to get better, try to move up, try to do what we have to do. But yeah, as far as winning, I mean, that's our plan. <laughs> I wouldn't veer from it. Well, thank you guys, and we're excited to have you back for this season. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.